Omega sometimes sounds like a fancy term, and it's the scientist term of looking at the structure of the different types of fats or fatty acids that are in our food and in our body. And uh, it turns out our body needs both omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. Uh, the challenge right now is that there is so much omega-6 in our diet, and it kind of overwhelms the omega-3. And uh, when we hear people talking about kind of the diets that our ancestors used to eat, they were much higher in omega-3. And so that's why now there's a lot more focus on getting a better balance in our diets so that we get more omega-3 and uh, say canola oil, flaxseed oil are good plant-based sources of those and we can grow those crops here on the prairies. Uh, and uh, of course fish oil is another good source uh, from the marine sources. Um, both of um, the omega-6 and the omega-3 are what we call essential fatty acids in our body. So we, we need to eat them in our diet because our body can't make them. But once we get these omega-3 and omega-6 into our body, then we can do um, reactions to them. We call those elongation and desaturation reactions to make all the other fatty acids and products that our body needs to use. And um, so both of them are important. Both of them help keep us healthy.